Hey, hey, this is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and so welcome back to my channel where you receive divine guidance and encouragement. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it is not by coincidence. This is a divine connection. So go ahead and press the subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. And also, I invite you to join me on Instagram at you are following D2. So, this is a general reading for the collective, which may or may not resonate with you. It comes from the Gilded Tarot deck. Now, if the message does resonate, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So, let's get to your message. God most high angel spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for the collective that's for their well-being? All right. Thank you. So you have the five of pentacles, which is encouraging you to ask for help this week if you need it. If it is with regards to financial assistance or having someone just help you with a project, a goal, a chore, whatever comes up for you, you're being you're being encouraged just to really ask for help. You don't have to do it on your own and stress yourself out. So allow others to assist you. Um, if you do not feel confident in asking um, certain individuals for assistance because Perhaps they may gossip about it. Well, naturally, that shouldn't be the person you go to. I'm just saying. So if you're concerned about whom to receive assistance from, who are, who's not going to be judgmental towards you, I feel like you should just offer up a prayer to whomever you believe is the creator, source, universe, or higher power and ask to place the proper people or person in your path to give you the assistance that you need this week. All right. And also, um, I feel like if you are feeling like you're left out in the cold for some reason this week, um, whether it's work or home or in your community, um, I feel like you're being encouraged to pause for a second, right? And take a moment to assess and see what resources are available to you. So this couple with their child are in the front of a synagogue, a mosque, a church. They're in front of a religious um, facility, building. Ephesus, Ephesus, Ephesus. <laughs> and they could just simply go in and ask for help. There is financial assistance there. There is someone there who could just um, have an open conversation with them, perhaps, perhaps even give them guidance for um, available community assistance or resources. There's someone there to join in with them for prayer. Um, it's a place where they can go to meditate if necessary, if they're feeling overwhelmed or down, right? This, this is a place where they can obtain shelter and or, again, resources for shelter if that's necessary. So in other words, this card is really giving you the message to ask for help seek out resources that are available to you that are right in your vicinity so they're standing right in front of this place of worship right where they can get assistance but they're so consumed with their current situation that they can't even see the resource that god creator source most high the universe has placed right in front of them because they're so emotionally consumed invested and invested in what has caused them to be where they're at look at their face their faces they're worried they're sad they don't know what to do next 
but the resource that they need is right in front of their face. So with that being said, don't ignore the resources, the assistance that's available for you that's right in front of your face. Just be open to receive it. And again, if you need help, ask for help. Ask for help from someone who is non-judgmental, someone who is trustworthy, someone who's not going to gossip about your situation, and um, just someone who's just not going to be a person who says, yes, I will help you, and then turn around and then talk bad about you. Now, if it's in the workplace, just ask for help. If it's a team effort or you are a part of a team, request assistance. If you are in leadership and you need help from upper management, ask them for assistance. Present to them what the need is with um, clarity. Just have your plan written out. Uh, tell them what worked and what is no longer working and share with them what your um, suggestion, recommendation, proposal is in the workplace. Okay, because pentacles is associated with the workplace, with our home, uh, with community, with finances, with material wealth, etc. Day to day living. That's what the pentacles are really um, focused around. So with that being said, request assistance in a place of, of employment ask for assistance or if you are a leader of a team establish a plan and propose it to your team so that you can execute and accomplish whatever task or goal you're faced with without feeling like you're left to do everything on your own or you are left out in the cold or abandoned no there's help available for you if you are in a environment where it's a higher learning, the same applies. Request assistance from your classmates, your professor, your teacher, your um, student council, your guidance council. Seek out assistance that is available for you as you go forward this week. You don't have to feel like you are left out in the coal because you do have resources available for you. Again, God, creator, source, most high, the universe, however you see the higher power, has already paved the way for you, made it available, placed it right in front of your eyes, right in front of your face. But if you're focused on what the situation is, and not being open to what's available to you, you're going to miss it. It's right there for you. All right. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you joining me and thank you for your support. Again, if you are already subscribed to my channel, but if you are not and you're still here, that's a sign that this is a divine connection. So go ahead and press the subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Now, if this message resonated with you in any way, shape or form, please give me a like, a thumbs up, give me a heart of any color. It would be greatly appreciated. And again, I hope this message has been helpful. It's helped me. <laughs> I'm going to apply this as well as I go forward this week. I will apply it to myself as well because it resonates here. So again, if the message resonates, please share, leave a comment, um, like the message, and also leave me a um, emoji of some sort. All right, so have a great week ahead. Take good care of yourself 
and I will see you soon. And I'm excited about seeing you soon. All right. Bye for now.